tractor. Hi, greetings. Yes, we have Zenta with his tractor. Hi, baby. Tractor. Tractor. Mm. Hey, it's Vanessa, and it's another episode of Grand Rising with Vanessa. We are now talking about, Nessa. yeah, Nessa, that's my name. Mm. We are now talking about, Nessa. yeah, Nessa, I'm doing this, baby. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about self-responsibility, Grand Rising. Thank you for tuning in. So this week is all about self-responsibility. And today I want to talk to you about your faith. OK, now I just want to put it out there that the words that I'm using is not about religion. So I'm not talking to you about religion at all, but I'm talking to you about an essence of your emotional well-being. OK, so what is faith? Now, it says here it's the assurance, it's the hope that what you have not yet received will come true. Now look at the date today. It is the 22nd of the 2nd, 2022, bit of a mouthful, but it's a fantastic day for manifestation. Okay, so this is about when you believe that something's gonna come into your life and you actually take action and bring about that change in your life. So let's start with the affirmation for the day. The affirmation is, I trust my intuition. I am always guided to make wise decisions. How fantastic. OK, so I want you to really tune in to your own intuition. I really need to get my equipment sorted out. I want you to tune in to your intuition. I'm also going to share with you the angel card of the day creative writing we have archangel gabriel how beautiful make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or a pen or an article or a book how fantastic that is just so aligned with the message that i have got for you so i want you to think about the question i have here the question says do you believe you are in control of your life and i'm saying that in the most honest and loving way and i really hope from my heart to yours that the answer is yes and if you are struggling if you're kind of thinking about that question you're like no i don't feel like i'm in control of your life then please feel free to you know send me a private message and i can offer you a clarity call that's one of the things that i do you know start from the beginning we kind of go through how you're thinking how you're feeling and we work through things there but you know, this aspect of faith is so important because um, you've got to have an awareness of your own personal growth. OK, now I'm so excited. You could probably see me beaming ear to ear because I'm going to share a story with you now, which is about my um, aspect of faith. that's literally just come into manifestation. So. This is really important that I want you to tune into this, okay? Everything that you want to bring into your life, you are always creating. That's why last week when we spoke about I, um, I am, I asked you to think about your I am. I asked you to think about, um, oh gosh, what was the other thing? There was some, it'll probably come back to me in a minute, but... The reason why I'm mentioning this is because I've just tuned to Abraham Hicks as what I do all the time. And the message that was there waiting for me was so aligned with what I'm feeling about today, because we are always creating. You are a co-creator of your life, of your world. And this is why it fits in to take self-responsibility. Now, for myself, you heard me say on the episode, one of the early episodes last week, I went, I am a dancer. And I was like, I am a dancer. And I was thinking, I haven't actually done any dancing apart from in my kitchen, but I'm a dancer. Anyway, I did some training on Saturday and I am now qualified to teach a musical experience to children and their caregivers. So it's very much about the child and their caregiver caregiver it's called Zumbine and I am so happy and grateful because this um I'm moving into a new chapter okay but it's so in alignment with who I am 
okay i'm always singing and dancing in the kitchen i'm always singing little songs to zenta so to stand here and say or sit rather and say you know i'm a lifestyle coach for mums so yes i'm helping and supporting mums to step into their power to step into the next element of their chapter of greatness yeah it's so beautiful that i have an opportunity to work with the little ones as well so i'm so happy and excited about that but that is an example of faith okay because faith provides pathways for solutions in your life okay i'm i honestly i'm looking for a solution as to say i want to grow my coaching services i want to make a bigger impact in the world but i need a bridge i need a bridge right now from where i am in my current situation which is working as a project manager for the university into what i actually want to do yeah so i want you to dig deep and think about what is it that you're reaching for? What is it you're expanding for? And how are your thoughts and your emotional well-being helping you to really get there? And that part will make sense. Well, if you're not really um, following what I'm saying, it will make sense shortly. So faith involves you identifying your true desires and you've got to be confident that you will receive it. So back to the little story that I'm telling you about. I wasn't looking for this training. Yeah, I was browsing on the Internet or on Facebook, to be fair, and the advert popped up. But honestly, when the advert popped up, I knew that that was part of my calling. Yeah, it's just it's just something that's within you. It's not really something that anyone can explain for you. Again, it's about your emotional well-being. It's about your emotional connection. So I want you to have faith in yourself, okay, that whatever you are reaching for in your life, you can do. It's part of your pathway, yeah? You were always on this mission, even from a very, very young soul, yeah? I was always dancing around the kitchen, yeah? I've always kind of been doing events and bringing people together. It's just now, I'm just I'm just an older body, yeah? But the soul mission is it's actually still the same. I'm just taking on more wisdom and more knowledge and I'm packaging it in a different way. OK, so this is what will be happening to you if it's not already happening. And if it is happening for you, then fantastic. You are on the right track. So I want you to have faith in yourself. I want you to have faith in your community. So this is a community. I'm really happy and excited and grateful about the engagement that's uh, inside this community and all the love and encouragement. Please keep that going. If you sell products or services, have faith in your products and services that they are needed and wanted in the marketplace. OK, I want you to think about your relationship with the higher power. I use different words. You'll hear me say source energy. You'll hear me say infinite intelligence. Sometimes you'll hear me say God. It To me, it's all the same. OK, so I want you to really dig deep. If you don't feel like you've got a connection with the higher power, the, the divine energy, then, you know, there's lots of tools that can bring you closer because it is real. OK, we're all energy. It's all about, hi, Magda. It's all about energy, frequency and vibration. OK, this is what it's about. This is what it's about. OK. And I want to say to you, never give up. <laughs> I am not where I, you know, my vision. In fact, I worked with a, a marketing coach yesterday and she was like, oh, I can hear the vision. <laughs> It's all here. But that's the point. You've got to believe it in your mind. You've got to live it before you're actually even living it. Yeah, I get so excited about what I'm doing, what I'm reaching for. So never give up. And your emotions, going back to well-being, have that emotional check in with yourself. And I want you to really hold on to those wonderful feelings of anticipation, of excitement, of belief and expectation. Yeah, it's going to come through for you. And if you don't do the work, remember, nothing's going to happen. We have to put in that work. But as long as you're putting in the work and you're on that emotional, what I call alignment, and you're sending out those thoughts. Yeah, because it's all about the vibration, frequency and energy then you will bring it into your world. So that is it for today. The question that I have for you 
is I would really love to know what's important to you right now. What is it that you're reaching for? What is it that is part of your desire? Yeah. And again, if you feel stuck, if you're like, oh, I've never really thought about that. Nobody's really asked me that question. Then please check in with me. Please book in for a clarity call. This is what I'm here for. Yeah. And I will be doing a post. <laughs> I've, had, I've had a new member say, but that's the way is it that you actually do. I do quite a few things and I know that I probably need to communicate better. So I will be doing a post for those of you who are new in the community. You're not really sure who I am, what I do, how I can possibly support you in your life or somebody in your life. Then I will be doing a post dedicated to that. But today is about you. So please let me know what's important in your life. OK, let us celebrate you. There's lots of different experts in this community as well. So there may be somebody in this community who's actually the reason why they're in this community is to connect to you to help you with your pathway. So think about it. Anyway, I'm so excited. I'm really, really pleased that uh, you're here. <laughs> You've given me so much joy. Yeah, so I'm hoping that I'm giving value to you in your life, in your day. The purpose is to sparkle radiant energy into the start of your day to help with your manifestation and growth. So I send you light, I send you love, and God willing, I'll be here tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>